Yep. I'm Aaron from GameWithDeuce.com, and I'm here with two lovely people today. We're going to talk about ourselves and what we've been up to and play a game. We're going to play a game called The Merchants of Magic, and the designer of Merchants of Magic is joining us today. His name is Clarence Simpson. Welcome, Clarence. Hello. Glad you could be here. Um, yeah, definitely. Full disclosure, we're attempting to stream things, and that blew up in my face, which you figure I'd be used to by now, but, you know, here we are. Also, uh, giving us some of her, her time, which we always appreciate, is lovely Raven McKenzie. Thank you for joining us once again. Hello. Thank you for having me. Super excited to play this game with y'all. Good. Good. Well, we like excitement. We'll, we'll take that. We'll, we'll, we will use it. <laughs> so, Clarence, you want to tell us, give us a little bit of a, a backdrop on how Merchants of Magic came to be? Oh, man. Uh, well, it basically started back in uh, 2019. There was... Uh, uh, Suzanne Sheldon had run a, uh, she was this uh, event called Gen Cant for yes. people that can't go to Gen Con. And in 2019, she ran a uh, uh, design contest for people to design roll and writes um, using polyhedral dice. So, because mm -hmm. everything at the time, for the most part, was just D6s. That's true. Um, and so that was, I thought, a pretty fascinating challenge um, and started messing around with stuff uh, and I'm throwing ideas around uh, and that was kind of I guess that was the the genesis of of this game was was that whole contest okay okay and is this how many I mean is this the first roll and write you've ever done or yes okay were you nervous about it you, you can tell us <laughs> we'll, we'll tell <laughs> no I definitely was I mean when I, I saw the contest I was like man I, at that point I had played I guess two roll and rights like yahtzee and then roll through the ages and that was it uh and so I, I definitely went through a phase where i was like researching a bunch of roll and rights trying to, to play them and understand how they worked and what was interesting about them and everything um just a crash course since i hadn't really been exposed to them okay well good i feel like rolling rights is <coughs> probably one of my favorite mechanics i have a lot of them. <laughs> I never get enough of them. I don't know why. Well, they're fun. They also don't take up a lot of room, so they're very like, you know, I get my sheets and everything else. I can set everything up nicely. It just stays there. I'm just like, yes, let's dig in. So, Raven, tell us a little bit about, about yourself for the folks who, who don't know um, what you're up to as well. Sure. Um, so I am a game designer uh, working on a couple different games right now. Um, one, I guess the one that is subjectively furthest along <laughs> is Macron Mania, uh, a two player uh, tile laying game. Um, of course, I play a lot of games. I also I, I am into Roll and Rights, although this is my second. I'm going to say second. That's probably a lie. Maybe third or fourth Roll and Write game that I've played. Um, I want to. Fleet is on my list of things to play. I just haven't had a chance to. Uh, and a few others are on my uh, my list of things that hopefully will hit the table in the next couple of question mark. Uh, who knows what time frame? Um, but yeah, it's a little bit about uh, me. You know, I don't want to make you feel like you have a lot of homework to do, but yeah, uh, yeah, Fleet the Dice okay. Game, you got three sisters, uh, and then, uh, I can't wait. And Motor That's City. Like... <laughs> yes, so many, so little time, so many. Games, that goes but. for everything though like, nobody can keep up with it that's that's life agreed <laughs> yeah so let's let's, uh, let's dive right into some merchants of magic let me switch things up over here and we can start taking a look at that so uh as you see on screen you have uh two sheets raven is sort of on the other side but i'll try to move things around to kind of show what we're all doing but uh clarence if if you do not mind if you want to just sort of Take refresh us, refresh. <laughs> sure. And take folks who have not played it sort of through how the game mechanics work. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm the blue hand here, so hopefully I'll, I'll try and point at things as I'm talking about them. Um, yeah, so this is Merchants of Magic. In, in this game, you are the owner of a magic item shop, uh, and so in, in a fantasy world, and um, you're going to be selling magic items to customers. Um, that are in, going into your shop. So these cards 
up here at the top represent the different customers that are uh, in your shop currently and the items that they are looking for. Um, if you look at your sheet over here, it's kind of divided in half. The, the left half of the, um, the sheet is the crafting side of things. So um, these are all different kinds of items that you can create. And the right half of the side uh, of the sheet is the spell research things uh, uh, side where uh, you have all these enchantments that you can add um, to your magic items. So uh, basically a magic item is a combination of an item from the left and one or two enchantments from the right. So for example, up here you have the fiery warhammer of the dwarves, that a combination of the fiery enchantment plus the warhammer item over here plus the of the dwarves enchantment over here. Uh, and so what you need to do is you need to complete a Warhammer, complete Fiery, complete of the Dwarves. And once you have all three of those things, you can complete this order. And you claim that order, bring it down to the side of your uh, sheet, and then put uh, another order in its place face down. And then you're going to be scoring the number of coins on the, uh, the card right there. Coins are the ultimately the victory points in this game. So anytime you see the little coin icon, that's lets you know you're doing something to uh, help yourself win the game. So uh, you get coins for fulfilling these orders. You get coins for completing any row. Uh, so you'll see them on the left and right edges of your sheet here. Uh, there are also coins for um, a few other things that I'll cover in a little bit. Um, but for now, the, the thing that drives this whole game is this, uh, this central kind of set of numbers here all these uh, numbers and circles uh, and what happens is you're you're going to be uh, uh, crossing off these numbers to complete items and enchantments and the way that you cross off numbers is by using four polyhedral dice which are up here you have a d6 a d8 a d10 and a d12 so each turn, what's going to happen is you're going to roll all four of those dice. Somebody, it doesn't matter who, because everybody's going to use the same set of dice. Uh, and then we'll all write them down here in this uh, section called the, the dice results. So we'll write down all the results that we get for that one round. Uh, and then we will spend, choose two of those dice to spend that round. Uh, anytime you spend a dice, you can cross off exactly one of the circles on your sheet. Uh, and for, for you to be able to do that, there's uh, two things that you have to, uh, two requirements you have to meet. First, it has to be the correct die type. So uh, if you look up here at the top of each column, each type of die can only be used in certain columns. Uh, so it has to be a matching die type. And then you have to meet the, the numeric threshold in the circle itself. So you'll see all these numbers here. Uh, and if you'll uh, notice, uh, for the left half of the sheet, the crafting sh side, there's an up arrow. And for the spell research side, there is a down arrow. So what that means is uh, for this six on the staff here, that means uh, any value six or greater. Um, and so everything on the left is uh, a greater than threshold. Everything on the right is a less than threshold. So generally speaking, high numbers are good for crafting and low numbers are good for research. Um, so once you have uh, completed a, any row, uh, a couple things will happen. First, uh, you're going to announce to the table that you've completed that thing, like I've completed of the elves or I've completed Warhammer. Uh, then you're going to earn some, uh, some coins. So you would circle the coins over there uh, on the edge of your, your sheet to let you know that you've uh, earned that at the end of the game. Uh, and then you're also going to earn a potion. And we have... Um, wait, where are the, oh, there they are. Yeah, there are some uh, potion tokens up here. Um, there's three colors, but uh, they're all the same right now. They, they operate exactly the same. Um, so you choose a, you, you earn a potion token and the potions are kind of the, the luck mitigation in the game. Uh, they allow you to modify the die results if you don't get exactly what you want. So each potion or anytime you want, you can spend uh, any number of potions to modify uh, a single die's value by plus or minus one. Um, and you can uh, you can spend those as soon as you er earn them. So that can lead to some interesting kind of like combo plays during a turn. Um, and you can also spend as many as you want um, at one time on a single die. So you could raise 
or lower uh, value quite a bit if you have the potions to do it. Um, and there, are, you can also uh, increase that value above the uh, natural possible values on a die. And some of the uh, uh, items require that. Like if you look down here at Greaves, you need to get a seven on a D6, which is impossible to do without using uh, potion modifiers. Um, okay, so like I said, uh, normally you're gonna choose, you're gonna roll four dice in a round and you're normally just gonna choose two of those. Um, however, there may be times that you want to use three or four of those dice. And in those cases, that's what we have the extra dice section of the board for over here. Um, so anytime that you want to use uh, extra dice, you mark one of these circles for each extra dice that you want to use. Um, so you could choose to mark two to use all four dice in a round if you want. Uh, if you'll notice the first three are empty, that means that they are free. Um, you don't have to do anything to earn those extra dice. However, the next three have a potion cost. So you'd have to spend two, three, or four potions to um, use those uh, second set of uh, extra dice. Um, now, uh, another thing we'll cover here is uh, everybody has a sponsored adventurer card to the side of your sheet. And a sponsored adventurer is is like a, a, a customer that is looking for a matching set of equipment. And uh, they are loyal, loyal to, your, uh, to your shop. They're not gonna um, go visit anywhere else. Um, so like this one here, the ranger is looking for a pendant of the elves, staff of the elves, and plate armor of the elves. Um, so they, you can treat them as uh, just like these order cards up here, except that they are not leaving your shop. They essentially stay in your shop uh, and don't rotate around. And they have their own set of uh, rewards for that. So if you look at the sponsored adventurer section of your sheet here, um, what, uh, you as you complete these orders on the sponsored adventurer, you'll check these uh, little circles here left to right. Um, so it doesn't matter what order you complete them in, but the first one that you complete will earn you three potions. Next one will let you mark any circle um, any of these numbered circles here on the sheet. And then the last one will let you mark uh, another circle as well as earn you the coins that are on the sponsored adventurer card. Um, okay, uh, let's cover the charms. This is uh, another section of the spell research side of your, uh, of your sheet. And this is some extra kind of bonuses that you can get during the game. They're not necessarily required, but they may be useful depending on your situation. First one is uh, you can glamour the potion supplier. That means you're you're kind of tricking the potion, the person that gives you potions into giving you three instead of uh, one like you normally would. So if you just need a bunch of real potions real fast, you can do that. Uh, and then the next three are end game bonuses for the different types of items that we have. We have three categories over here, accessories, weapons, and armor. So uh, those will give you bonus coins for uh, fulfilling orders of a certain type. So towards the end of the game, if you see that you have a bunch of weapons orders that you fulfilled, you might want to get the weapon prestige to get some bonus points. Um, the one other thing, oh, this is really important and I totally forgot to talk about this. So at the end of each uh, round, all these customers that you have in your shop, um, they, they're looking for something in particular and they're also very impatient. So if they don't find what they're looking for, they're gonna eventually leave your shop and look elsewhere. So uh, the way that works is at the end of each round, after um, everybody has completed all their stuff on their, their sheet, because this is all uh, done simultaneously, uh, all of the cards will rotate around the table one kind of space. So like this one would go over here, and this one goes over here, and this goes over here, this goes over here, etc., going all the way around. So these, um, these customers only stay in your shop for a limited number of turns. Uh, you basically have three turns once a customer comes in your shop to fulfill that order before they leave and look elsewhere. Um, so what that means is you, you definitely have to think about the timing. You definitely want to think about uh, what's coming to your shop soon, meaning like looking at what your what's in your your neighbor's shop uh, because they uh, they may be coming to your shop soon. Um, and then one last thing to cover up here is the mastery cards. Uh, and then these mastery cards are uh, cards that 
uh, give you some more more coins, and they're uh, a shared uh, goal for everybody to kind of race towards. Um, there's basically uh, for the crafting, everything is made up of three materials. That's the these three columns here: wood, steel, and leather. Um, and uh, for the magical research, everything is uh, comes from three different magical energy types, the elemental, arcane, and wild energy types. And uh, so these um, uh, these mastery cards, we choose one of those, well, uh, one from each of those sets to be uh, the mastery that everybody's kind of competing for for that game. So in this for this particular one, we randomly chose the the woodsman mastery, which means that anybody that marks or the first person that marks five circles in the wood material column will earn eight coins. And once that is completed, this will flip over. And after that, people that complete that goal will earn uh, four coins. So uh, you still get points for it, but not as many. And then the other one is over here, the druid who earns uh, coins if you complete uh, mark four circles in the wild, wild magical energies column. So um, that covers, I think, everything in the game here. You go through 10 rounds, um, and then you total up everything here at the bottom. Uh, we can kind of talk about that when we get to it, I guess, but it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Are there any questions? Are you really good at this game? Are you going to? <laughs> you gonna embarrass me? I guess it's <laughs> We'll see. I'm a little rusty. Sure, sure. Right. That's what they all say. <laughs> uh, I guess these are infinite or No, I don't think anything in Tabletopia is infinite actually. Oh. Well that changes everything. <laughs> Alright, so Raven, you are across the way over here, right? Yes, I'm okay. on the opposite side. Would you like to eat? I mean, you want to be the first player? You want to roll first? No pressure. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. no? Okay. No, no, I can go first. I can okay. go first. Uh, no. There we go. Okay. So. So. So we've got two, one, seven, twelve, and I guess we can just drag these little tokens onto our sheet. I'm the blue one, right? No, you're the blue one. Yeah, I'm the blue one. Oh. Two. You you said that in order of red to green, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two, Perfect. one. What was it? Seven, that... twelve. Oh, seven. Oh, 12. wow. Hmm. <laughs> She says without knowing what she needs to mark off, but it's nice to have a high number. All right. Okay. Uh, so it begins. So you can use these. Okay, cool. And the big ones are for the extra dice. Yeah, although I think honestly, there's not enough of the little ones. Oh. There's only 20. And you should be marking off like 25 or so by the end of the game. Uh, so you'll have to either use some of the big ones for that or borrow them from another table. Uh, okay. I should probably look at what I have and figure out what I need to focus <laughs> on. Yeah. Same. Okay. Are we going, uh, is it clock clockwise for the orders? Yes, everything's going to rotate clockwise. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, Raven. Normally I have the, the person to explain, I ask the person to explain everything to go first. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, that's not even really a first, first player, right? Because it's all simultaneous. It's that's just true. who's going to roll the This dice. is true. It's really just the rolling of the... We just get to blame you for a bad roll. <laughs> right. That's the only difference. A terrible it's... start because... I kid. Yeah. Oh, boy. Man. What do I want to do here? Uh, I always... I don't know. Clarence, I don't know. I always feel like the card that's furthest to the left... Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm probably not getting that one because it'll be it'll rotate out first, right? And yeah, I mean, this one I think is physically impossible for you to get, right? Yeah, you gotta get I, two enchantments. Yeah. So, I shouldn't focus on that. <laughs> oh, these are all. 
Everything is the opposite. Do we start off with any potions at the beginning, or no? We have no, to earn no every potions. single yeah, one. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, I guess I'm having I'm having some AP here. I don't know what I want to do. Same. Uh, I mean, what, what can I double? What can I do that works twofold? Okay. If I work on that, that makes sense. I'm not saying out loud what it is because reasons. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute, that's... Oh, we rolled a one? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, boy, this is... This is rough. <laughs> like, I can't... I can't work on that either. Okay. <laughs> well, the, the one is great on the elemental column. That, so that D8 yeah. can be used on the elemental column for magic. But not so great on the crafting side. No. No. There's one. Thing, but let me make sure I'm doing that. Is everyone using? I guess I'll do that. All right, I think I'm good. This is not a great starting roll. No offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> oh, man. It's just, it's hey, I blame the system. All I did was, you know, hit the functions, hit the keys, and we are where we are. Um, okay, I'll use that. I'm taking like way too long. Um, Don't worry about it. Are we putting X's on the numbers we use or like moving them away from the board or? Oh yeah, I don't know. I, that's a good question. I moved mine off the board. Yeah, it probably makes sense. Okay, that makes, cause we don't need, we don't need them for anything else. Like that. That'll help save on the X's too. I was worried that. Where in the world can I use of a, a, oh, I can only use two anyway, so I'm good. I'm done. All right. I'm on my mind. I'm thinking like, I have to use well, them all. Unless you want to use extra dice immediately. No. But you can. No. I, cool. I played some cat Sudoku or something. I have to use everything. No, I, 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 I can't <laughs> use everything. So, all right. Um, all right. So then uh, at the end of the round is when you would technically check like these mastery things. That's obviously not going to happen for a few rounds. Right. Uh, and then the orders all rotate. Yeah. Where did you put your numbers? You just... Kind of slid them to the side. Well, I only slid the ones that I used. So as I'm doing it, I kind of remember which which dice I've used. Oh, that makes. But sense. I mean, it's all you know for personal reminders. So whatever works for you. I took mine. I, I I took yours. It wasn't on purpose. Oh no no! I was just saying I put mine. I should probably put them over to the side instead of uh, back in the general. Oh, a crossbow of the elves. Indeed. Okay, who else is going to rule the die this <laughs> turn? I think everybody has to do it now. Oh, boy. Let's see. All right, we have two, two, six, ten, eight. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna use this. All right. So if I once I get the elves thing, I just put the the circle thing around the coin. Yeah. So then I got it, and then I get yep. a potion, right? And then you get a potion. Yay. I have to zoom out just a little bit. Uh, let's see here. All right, I used. What did I use? I used that. Uh, that's not. I just completed fiery. Oh wait a minute! That is. Oh, I can use that. Is this a six or higher? All right, I got the fiery staff completed. Well, I got fiery. No, I don't have fiery yet. Never mind. Ugh, why did I bother to do that? <laughs> it's going away. <laughs> Ugh. Let me 
of these days, I'll remember what I'm doing here. Almost there. Uh, oh, I need the staff anyway. But maybe would have made more sense. Uh, um, I think I'm going to complete bracers too. I used all four, so I didn't use this. And I... Yeah, I used one extra die. Man, okay. Didn't I that. didn't finish anything, so. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't earn any cards. That's for sure. I. Oh, I, oh, I got a potion for the staff. So I have two potions, but. Oh, that's right. That's something. It is something. We'll take it. <laughs> And we rotating. Uh, uh, yeah, if everybody's done. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And this Thank one comes you. down here. Yep. Yep. Okay. A lot of of the elves. Some, opp Indeed. some opportunities there. I should probably take advantage mm -hmm. of. Right. right. Clarence, let's see what you got. Roll them. Okay. All right. So four, six, ten, three. Four, six, four, six ten, three. Ten, three. Mm -hmm. that all right so let's see i got the backpack and i have i already own the preposition of the elves which is a weird thing to say <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you ever owned a preposition before I, don't know. I think this is the first time somebody's ever actually said uh referred to them as prepositions well prepositional phrase testing. excuse me it's, yeah yeah <laughs> of is the preposition but yes prepositional <laughs> phrase is Guinness, uh, are, are, are they listening? Because, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a first. Let's, let's go. All right, what else can I do here? What makes sense? Is that working on this? I think I'm completing staff, which will give me the fiery staff. I think I need to work on this crossbow thing. Six. A nine and higher of. Oh, well, that's not happening. Um, for that. Well, and I guess I forgot to mention you just pull out a, a face down card whenever you complete something. Ah, and it's revealed on the next turn. Right, after it rotates. Okay. Uh, so I used. Staff. I, used I finished the, six, uh, the L's. And I used the 10. This and the three. I don't know why I put all of them on the sheet. I should probably just put them near it and then once I use them populate it I don't know it's like I'm confusing myself <laughs> yeah I'll put them to the left of them and then drag the ones I use over and then keep the other two separated to make it make more sense when I get rid of them why am I telling you all this I don't know <laughs> you want to ask me that information at all you're just listening graciously yeah sure Aaron whatever <laughs> <laughs> that works for you man all right I am good. Okay. All right. See what I'm not ready yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna. What is this? Four. Yeah. Five in wood, four in wild. Oh, I don't need to do that yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Spending two of my potions to make that four into a six. Oh, so you can do these, you can do the uh, specialized sponsored things out of order, right? Like I did the second yeah. one. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, because you already got staff. Oh, you you already did it. You yeah, just did it. I just realized I just did that. So I'll put that in there as complete. Well, and... no, the first one that you complete is always this one over here. 
regardless of which one you complete. Oh, I'm taking it way the, too the literally. The potions is the first reward okay. that you get. Take, oh, got it. Okay. I'm thinking like it really has that kind of order. Okay, so I get three potions then. Yep. Cool. I'm take one of each color because I'm a weird guy. i to mix it up a little bit. Mm. And there we Let's are. See. So I need Mm -hmm. Let me spend an extra die. Use that three to complete of the dwarves. Now you own the prepositional back. phrase of the dwarves. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't want to do anything with that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend another extra die. Wow. Big spender over there. <laughs> Use that 10 to mark this on my Warhammer. All right. Now I think I'm good. We should be copying him, Raven. That's what we should be doing. <laughs> I'm making notes right now. Uh, my does. next turn's gonna be different. Turn yeah. an eight into a seven. Right. Uh, whose roll is it? Is it? Oh. Is it mine? Oh, we got we got to rotate though. Yes. Ah. Okay. Ooh, an everlasting pendant. Those are the best kind of pendants. Yeah. Those ones that last forever. Okay, we have, what is this? Four, one, nine, four. I really feel like one of those announcers on like the news, the lottery numbers. We have four. <laughs> and the next is a one. B6. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do I need to do? I'll finish this crossbow. Okay, so nine or higher on purple. So if I do that, oop, then my one potion and the four crossbows finished. And then I complete Warhammer. Crossbow of the Elves. Weaponry and prepositions. So now I have Fiery Warhammer of the Dwarves. Should I get my potion back? Mm -hmm. Grab a potion. Uh, a lot of potions over here. Uh, let's see, you got the crossbow. Oh, and then you said. So even if the one to the far left is what I do, I still put down a. Uh... Yep. Okay. So it's I won't even get it. Like it'll be a surprise for you. Right. Yep. Okay. Grimoire, and then I finish the grimoire of the elves. What else should I do here? Um, I think I want to use an extra one. More hammer. Die. I'm not anywhere close to anything divine. 414. That's not going to work. Yeah, I'll use a potion here to finish. Scroll. Oh, I can do that. And I get it back. Oops. Cross off one of my extra guns. Uh. Kind of feel like that's all I could do. 
Yeah, I think I'm done. Alright, I'm almost home. Another extra dollar. Backpack. I use my potion to then get it back. So I finish the row. Uh, I you know what? Actually, board. I'm gonna use an extra die mm -hmm. and use this one, and then complete that. Right, what else makes sense to do here? Okay, I... And then I'm going to actually use another extra die. I'm not sure how smart that is, but... Can I use an extra die and combine... Uh, and use the potions at the same time? Yep. So I need three potions to make that into something that will work... For... That. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. Is it whose role is it? Uh, does anybody get any masteries yet? We're starting to kind of hit the midpoint of the game where this sometimes happens. <coughs> I wish I was. I'm trying though. No, not I. Not yet. Okay. Let's see how close Rotate. you are, Clarence. Let me see. I don't know. Hmm. hmm. A lot going on over there, I'm Clarence. Watching you, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and let's see what this is. A shocking hammer. Shocking warhammer. A lot of warhammer is a whole lot of warhammers. <laughs> what were you thinking about when you were making this game? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of warhammers here. Like Aaron, you're up for uh Rolling, okay. Yes. Alright. Alright, we have four, two, nine. Oh wait a minute, is that six? Four, two, nine, seven. And we're at the halfway point just about. Yeah. Oh. This game goes at a quick pace. It does. If I don't take too long and think about what I want to do. <laughs> so many choices. I know. Which I do like the multiple, you know, what are you going to go for uh, kind of aspect. Mm -hmm. And then the charms, too. All right. I'm going to uh... use that. But I'm going to use a pendant. Pendant. A potion. I said pendant. To turn that into a a five. Thus, I have, where did I just do that? Four, what, wait, what am I doing here? Ah, here. So now I have four on the wood thing. Is that, what, is it four or five for the wood thing? It's five for wood. <clears throat> of course it would be. <laughs> I'm almost there. Uh, I'm completing of the orcs. Which is my first okay. sponsored adventure thing, so I get a bunch of potions. Three or higher. Okay. Uh, that one. All right, did that. Okay, I'm going to use this nine. So I'm almost at a Warhammer. All right, I'm going to use an extra die and a potion and turn this two into a three, put it here. And now I have five different markings under wood. Ooh. Ooh. I have no idea if that was worth it. Here we are. <laughs> So I don't take the car because it gets flipped. So how do I, I just remember that I got eight points. Right. Well, so, I mean, technically we have a chance to, to claim it during this round as well for eight oh, points. Oh, okay. 
So oh, it's kind of like it. I thought it was one and done. Okay, good, good. Okay. I was yeah, racing, so I mean, it, thinking like, oh, only one person can get it. It's just you have to get it in the same round that the initial right, person Right, not like real it. time. Right. Scribble as fast as you can, racing. <laughs> <laughs> I marked my whole board. I'm like, okay, all right. All right. Now you're just cheating. I finished Fiery. Okay. Um, and oh, I finished I Scroll, so I get a potion down. for that. I didn't pay any attention to what was up here, which is probably not a good thing. I work on Pendant. I'm also going to this might be my last free die. Extra die. I gotta move these up. That might help a little bit. So I'll have to scroll down quite as much. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna glamour the potion supplier. Uh, uh, pendant, pendant, this. pendant. Alright, I'm gonna complete scroll. Higher than one. Oh, I already used them all. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's fine. She's gonna let me mark anything. Oh, yeah. Then cost me extra. I don't want to do it. Uh, Get that. Two potions to change a four into a two. Oh man, and then two potions. Oh. Extra die. Turn right, so some cheating off your sheet, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I Someone finished. I hope you can read it. Divine. Yeah, I can. Right. I think it is your role, Clarence. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm trying to figure out if I want to spend one last thing or not. Uh, Backpack. Should I, I should probably do that. Oh no, I can't do that. <sighs> and then we'll just wait, see what comes up. So many options. It's hard to know. Like, what the? Is it best to go for like the prepositional phrases or go for the weapons first? Right. Yeah. Okay. I have finished. Yeah, I'm good as well. So now, Raven, did you get um, the wood mastery? No, not even no. All right, so I'll flip that over, and then you would go ahead and put eight down at the bottom of your sheet, Aaron. For material for, mastery? For uh, material mastery, yep. Ooh. I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it again for another eight? I'm not hearing yes. <laughs> that means the answer is no. All right. All right, I think we're rotating. Indeed. I guess we are. Couple of Warhammers are fast and pendant. Oh, Greaves and Dwarves, I have nothing here. Ah, Ooh, that shocking Warhammer of the Elves is pretty. Why don't you take that? <laughs> That's seven points. That 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 could be okay. All right. What are what are our numbers? Uh, All right. We got six, seven, four, nine. Lots of fours, lots of nines this game, seems like. <sighs> this is going to be tough to get. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be tough. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Oh. All right. Uh. Yes. Well, this might be a silly question, but just for confirmation. Huh? The actual requirements are the number you see itself in a direction, not anything beneath or higher that number, right? Like um, seven means seven and then higher than seven, not just higher than seven. Yeah, greater than or equal to. Okay. And on the other side, it's less than or equal to. Otherwise, I've been playing wrong this whole time. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like no, you're, you're good. Like you told me, I'm like, uh-oh, restart. Okay. All right, so I use that. Ooh, a warhammer. I finally have a warhammer. I can get a potion. Oops. Oh, wow. You telling me I shouldn't expect to, to get that shocking warhammer of the elves? Um, I'm, I'm working on making that impossible for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my best. Uh, oof, but I don't know. It's gonna be tough. So two and under seven. Not sure, what I want to go for now. Oh, oh actually, I should have used the four in yellow. And then get right, a complete helmet. Get that shocking. <laughs> Two and under is going to be kind of tough this round. Can I finish something else? Dang. Why is it Can I finish something else? There's dragons and elves. A handful of orders. If I can complete another order from my loyal customer, I can mark any circle I want and then speed that process up. Oof. I don't know how I'm going to do that, though. Pendant, no. Did the staff on it. Plate, no. There's pendant. Ooh, higher than one. Okay. So I'm going to uh, spend two potions to put an extra die down. I'll put these over here. And I'm going to get to... Ooh. Says you went offline, Clarence. That means I win. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh I froze. think it might be frozen oh, on. No. Yeah. Okay, he suggested just to continue to rotate cards just as if he were there. So that makes sense. I'll put this up here for you, and we will. Oh, thank you. We will carry on because Clarence would want it that way. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's still done. He's still here. It's just, you know, right. Yes. I don't make it sound Everything morbid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you. Oops. Sometimes yeah, I keep talking back. back and forth between Zoom and here and. Try to move things around and it doesn't work. Yeah, I think I, even though, like, we our, our two windows are split amongst three different things, I'm just gonna leave it because it's just it's like our <laughs> mouth, it's like our nerves and our mouths for one. The middle one just has the top, like, you well, the eyes. I wish up. I could see what you're talking about. <laughs> sound it's just my shiny it. forehead and head. And the other one. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna okay, leave I'm it because that that's an errant thing to do because it's <laughs> completely nonsensical. Um. This is, this is energy mask. So he rolls and I'll you roll, I guess, right? Yes. I'll just put this nine over to here. Okay. Um, he did a wonderful job explaining this game. He really did. And um, designing it. Just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, indeed. Indeed. Uh, okay, shift. And it's absolutely beautiful i tell you i um uh, i opened it up when i was at home for the holidays and my sister saw the cover she's like oh 
that looks amazing. What is that? Tell me more. And I'm like, yeah, that cover is definitely what caught my eye. I was like, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't see covers like this very often. No, <laughs> I'm not at yeah. all. Exactly. My daughters are like, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> we are intrigued. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, representation is so important. Indeed, it's it so is. great to see that cover. Uh, the numbers for this round are six, six, oh wow, uh, four, <laughs> and then nine, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm right near my HVAC room. My furnace is just like getting louder. I'm like, oh, okay. Keep working. Oh boy. Right. Keep working. <laughs> Please don't, you know, yeah. now is not the time. Now is not the time. That's what I, my, uh, my furnace is actually broken right before the holidays. Mm. Um, and I had to work with my landlord and we have like a, a warranty company, which is. Oh, I have that too. Cause I should have killed us a couple of years ago in our old house. Oh, right. so much CO2. fun to work with them and get stuff fixed. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah, just like, it's like, oh, you know, it's not winter yet. It's December. You'll be fine. I'm like, actually, no. You should be, you should fix this. Like right. you, you should fix this. Like, like this is pretty important. Uh, Thankfully, they were able to take care of it in a few days. Uh, okay, six, so... six, four, nine. I had a plan. I completely forgot what that okay, plan so was. Do I get Not a shocking long. sword now? Shocking sword. Yay. So I have a shocking sword. And uh, I guess this, is, this one isn't going very far, but uh, I'll find out what it is when Clarence gets it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I finished the greens. You know, games are like a, you know, a privilege and stuff. The real thing is like the power goes out. It's like your food and people have, you know, medical conditions that they need right. equipment and things like that for. That's exactly. Um, I think about what happened with Texas, you know. Oh, whole, that is terrible. Their whole That's separate power grid thing is like, did you learn anything from all that? Like other states right. can at least share, you know, there's some flexibility. They just, Something. we want to be unregulated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you say we so. not learn anything, even not natural disaster related, but um, I think someone was saying something like in Minnesota, they're renting out the convention center for COVID uh, vaccines and testing, but they had to stop for a week to pause for like an event that's going to bring in 40,000 people. 40,000 like, people. I don't know if is now. That, <laughs> I, I, that's priority? Yeah. I don't, they, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not the smartest man in the world. I'm just. Just saying. What are we doing? Like, exactly. Why are we doing it? Was my one dot? One what am more I dot. Doing? I should be focusing on other things. What am I? But I'm not. So yeah. I... Sword or shield? Sword or shield? Okay. Yeah, okay, working on of dragons and like I have all these other things I need to work on. Right, I was trying on that one, but oh, I did both okay. these already. Yeah. My second one for this, I get to mark any circle. What is this? Finish sword. Grab a potion. Plate of armor. Any circle. All right, I guess I'm using the rest of these potions. I don't know if this is smart or not, but here we are. All right, these are going over here. And I'm going to use this eight and up. Oh, I can't use that anyway. Oh, wait a minute. This is eight and higher. Oh, I can't use it anyway. So I'll take my potions back. You lied to me. <laughs> and by you, I mean me. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. I lied to myself. All right, I'm finishing Everlasting. Which, whenever I hear that word, it makes me think of that movie, which I don't even think I watched all of it, to be honest. I think it was quite long. Uh, was it Tuck Everlasting or something? That was that? a book, I thought, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's I've both. never seen it either. I kind of, you know, I don't, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Uh, I guess I, unless I want to use three potions, which is a lot. Oh, of oh potions. you're there too, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the same spot, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's not um, really worth it. This seems like a commitment right there. We still have, oh, we only have three more turns, though. What about so. two and lower? I, should I just get this divine thing? Is that, nah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I need to. Uh, my loyal customers are waiting around here for me to finish this third order, and I probably should do that. Oh, boy. Oh, you get to mark any one thing. Warhammer. Oh, the ward hammers are coming. <laughs> oh, I haven't even started on that one. Okay, yeah, oh, I gotta, boy. I gotta focus on this plate of armor thing. I'm, I've been slacking on that. What did I get? The shocking sword. I got it. All right, I guess that, I'm right? gonna use three of them. I'm gonna do it. Oops. Okay. I think I am done. Mm -hmm. Is that a dog out here? Yeah, somewhere on the outside. Uh, it was quiet. I don't know. Someone must be taking a walk. Okay. Uh, do I roll now? Oh, we rotate. Yes, we rotate. Uh, oh, Clarence sent me a DM saying he wants me to. <laughs> have all the points that he earned, so. I'm kidding, he didn't say that. Okay, I was like, Rita? <laughs> it was just um, to me, he just said, you know. Okay, okay. He said, Aaron, I think you're ready for it. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. All right, we have five, two, six, ten. Okay. Five. Six. No. Uh, let me make oh, sure I... that's did that right. Five two six ten. E yep. That's it. Five two six ten. Mm-hmm. Right. I have to always like look closely at the six and nine to like, okay, the dot is on this side. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, same here. That's why I check. Especially yep. online, far out, it's hard to zoom in and everything. Uh, okay. All right, we don't get that plate of armor. We doing it. <laughs> Maybe. I thought I'd be able to do the dragons this turn, but you know what? Oh, uh, uh, that's what I really need to finish. Dang it. Uh, I should have turned. Uh, what was I thinking? You know what? I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. We'll take that five. Use these three potions to turn this five on a D6 into an unnatural D8. Well, not an unnatural D8, but just can't it can't exist without some help. And if I had potions, <coughs> I'd keep going, but I don't. Alright. We're almost at the penultimate round. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna finish my shield. Okay, come. Three or higher. Eight or higher. Oh, I see you play ocean. Castles of Burgundy. I have, I have the dice game and. I've Kind of know how to play it, but not really. 
Yeah, I heard, I, I keep forgetting which one is which. Either the dice game or the card game. People I, really like. I don't like, Martha. I bought the card game first and I just couldn't okay. really wrap my head around it. I just was like, Ugh. so I got the dice game in. I like it, but I, I need to play it more. And I don't own okay. the base, which people seem to love it. I need to play it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Although I realized, um, I again I'm so accustomed to playing games online and not having to be able to set up, um, open up the box, and I'm like, oh, because I also don't have little baggies for each of the different types of hex tiles. So, Got it. took a minute to sort through. Yeah, and get everything. that's why I haven't opened up my shovel knight game because I'm like, hey, I'll get to it. <laughs> right. One of these oh days. Mark any circle and game. All right, I'm gonna mark off this one. Oh, that's big. That's okay. Okay, I need one then, more for plate of armor. Just six. one. Just one. I've almost, I practically have ignored all this stuff. Do I have? Oh, great. Ah, oh, can I do all of that though? If I get plate of armor and fi if I finish fiery, that would be great. I wish I had some more potions. Oh, Ooh, if I finish plate of armor, I can get a potion. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, it depends on what I get next round. All right, I gotta try to make next round really productive because there's some stuff here. Same. Agreed. All right, you ready to roll? All right. Uh, yes. And it, oops. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Uh, zooming out on accident. Come on, having to reset myself. Um, ready. To move things around. Oh, I keep forgetting that's the order. Sorry. All right. Uh, there you go. There's a divine warhammer. Thank you. There's two greaves of the of the elves that Clarence can mess with. What is this? Divine scroll. Oh, I wish I had to finish divine. Divine scroll of the dragons. Did I finish the dragons? Nope. Did I finish Divine? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I started them. That's something. All right. But, the yeah. finish. And then it's like when you have things half finished in the different columns and you really want both of them to be finished, but it'll take you essentially two turns to get there. Yeah. And that's all we have left, I think. Yep. This uh, is the penultimate round. So ooh, let's make boy. it count. All right. We have a three, one, five, ten. Three, one, five, ten. Five, and ten. All right. Um, man, I wish I had a. Uh... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Can I? No, I can't. Use... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, plate of armor. God. <laughs> oh. Finally. Oh, could I have done this last time? Oh, I'm just gonna pretend that I couldn't because okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the 10, which lets me finish fiery. I finished up the dragon. Which gives me a point. Okay. So I get a potion. And hmm. <sighs> Oh, wait a minute. That does work. What was We're I thinking? Backpack. Okay, if I use the five. Oh, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I need eight or higher. Oh, boy. One more dot. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. I really need some potions. Like, seriously need some potions. I echo that need if i could just finish this plate of armor this would be fantastic what else can i do here can i do anything for potions mm. no what else do i need to yeah, divine is tough two or lower i mean that's okay that's just, it was hard that's just two numbers that doesn't Uh, ah, ah, you know what I can do? Four or lower. Oh, I've actually put the number on there. I'm such an idiot. 
if you if I do the glamour with the purple, I get a point extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I get three three potions, right? Yep. Which I desperately need. One, two, three. The only problem is I can't, I can do nothing with them now because it cost me three potions to use another die, which I mm. and I need the potions to change the the values on the die. This is not good. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if this is gonna get finished, and you can hear the concern in my voice. I, I definitely it's it's a tough one. It's really. All right, you ready? Almost. I have one more die that I think, unfortunately, is just going to... I can't do a whole lot with it, so... This is going to have to be... I got to roll something magical, because that's... I waited way too long to, to make sure my um, loyal customer had what they need, which is <laughs> really <laughs> foolish. Oh. All right, I'm just going to... Yeah, okay. I, I... Oh, boy. Oh. This could be really Where bad. Okay, ready. You ready? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rotate, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have a everlasting pendant of the elves. Scrolls moving over. On, Which I think I had this in the beginning of the game. Give me uh, something uh, I already have made, and of course you did. <laughs> I, I don't have everlasting. Oh Where man. Where's everlasting? Nope, don't have everlasting, and I don't have the grimoire. Well, oh, are you doing? I think so. If I, uh, wait, no. Am I doing the last roll? Or did, uh... I think I do the last roll. Okay. You just roll, right? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Is this something? All right. We have one, three, nine, eight. Niner. Eight. All right, let's make it count. Right? This is all left. Okay, for the plate of armor, I need eight and higher. Whew, this was so close. That nine just got me there. Oh, man. All right. That nine just made it. Plate of armor is done. So I get. Five points for the plate of armor. My loyal customer is completely satisfied with, with their service. Wonderful. All right, they're satisfied. I did that. I get a potion. I finished the Warhammer. And, oh, that also means that I completed the fiery plate armor because I already had fire done. So I pull that down. It doesn't matter if I pull anything else down because it's the 10th round anyway. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, sponsored adventure. Just take the six points. I know I can finish that. All right. What else can I do? What is five, right? Or is it? It's five, yeah. And wild oh. is four, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I still went away from the wood. All right, if I can get this wild, can I do anything else here? No, these other things are useless to me. I have a scroll, I don't have up dragons, and I don't have to find done. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off. All right, what can I do in the mm. wild? Nine or lower that oh and already okay uh oh no nine and lower yo look at that <laughs> i have an eight nine oh, and lower mm -hmm. to pretend like i'm actually gonna finish everlasting but i'm not okay so that's four and wild right yeah okay and it, what, that's not which mastery is that that's energy mastery right Yes. So four in that. But 
I could could do everlasting by doing oh yeah I can't do that oh wait a minute no 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 I can't do that it almost tricked me thinking I could pull it off yeah <laughs> no no there's nothing else uh, is there anything else I could finish no I can I'm like locked I can't do anything Damn. If there were more things that just required only one number, yep. I, I'd be able to do that. It's twos and threes. It's just like, oh, yep, nope, not that. <laughs> That's it. That's, wow. Oh, all, all right. They wrote. Now we're going to. We do scoring? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do scoring here. Okay. All right, so we're going to start off with crafting. That's the yes. left side, right? Correct. Um,. All of the the accessories, weapons, and, and armor. armor, which I'm just going to get now. Yeah, because if I start saying things out loud, I might mess you up. And I know if you start saying numbers out loud, you know, I know you'll mess me up. So. I, that's why I'm like, let me just pull this guy out. All right. Okay, that's not, I mean, I don't know if that's good or not, but we got 19. Ooh, 18 over here. Okay. So close. You and did then, your mastery already? Yeah, which is a, a nice zero over here. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Okay. Um, what is spell research again? Uh, so that's the all the enchantments, not the charms. Not the charms. Okay, those are separate. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be real easy. That is a whole whopping four points. That's. Oh no. <laughs> that's not gonna be hard at all. I didn't do very well over there. Um. I, I, I shudder to, to to hear what your number is. I have four. You had twenty. <laughs> No, not that is eight 13. million. <laughs> right. You said thirteen. Yeah. Okay. That that's three times my score. All right. <laughs> and then so energy mastery. Uh, I had four for that. Right. That. And then you are completed orders. Let's see. Which 10, 14, I didn't do too hot on those. Ten, fourteen, fifteen? No. 19, 19. I got 22. You said you didn't do, didn't, didn't do too hot, but then, <laughs> in terms of three more I like than my score, the, I didn't do very well. I got three more than the you. The high value ones. I have a lot of fours over here. Uh, 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 charm, charm bonus. bonus. That's just one. I do very well. Uh, and then I always want to do them. And then, yep. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't add it for us. No, it's manual. Ooh, yeah, this is not good. Like, this is pretty much what I scored in my first solo game, which is not good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I have a whopping 61. <laughs> 68 it was close but it was close. i'm thinking of in the, you know what clarence put into the rules about the rankings for solo I, multiple is there but i know for solo i think i scored 62 my first game i didn't uh. it's oh my, what's what's the um is a hundred like the threshold for a? um i gotta you know, I, mean, I can grab it hold on give me one second what if it's that or actually have it right here that or like a you know year oh no okay 60 is apprentice 70 is craftsman 80 is a merchant and, and 90 is a master which i don't even think okay. i played it twice and i think the second game All right. so for the like solo the variant it's 70s. 60 you're an apprentice 70 you're a crafts craftsman craftsperson 80 merchant 90 master so I've never scored anywhere near ninety. Uh, I barely. <laughs> I I'm I'm an, I'm a real good apprentice. Well, I'm barely. Right. In a, I'm, I, yeah, I'm barely an apprentice essentially. Something to aspire to. We always need that. Always, uh, always. All right. Oh, this is fun. 
most definitely. Let me switch the view here. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah. Good times. Good times. Mm -hmm. So that is, uh, unfortunately, you know, um, Clarence, he cannot, he can't control the weather. He's working on it, but he can't yet. But uh, hopefully um, his power and for him, you know, himself right. and his neighbors uh, will be uh, restored shortly. Yes. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. So, yeah. Good times. Good times. Anything you want to say mm -hmm. on your way out? Any, anything you want people to to check you out mm -hmm. in? Any streams? Any not rants, been coming, coming up, up <laughs> that i can uh oh well actually yeah uh so uh the weekend the last weekend in january uh friday and saturday will be uh january uh nun pub um i'll be on a panel there'll be lots of great panels definitely mm -hmm. uh check it out if you have time on that, that friday and saturday for uh most of the day okay unpub unpub good to know mm -hmm. good to know well, uh, we will have to, to do this again. Yes. I'll yes. be practicing. <laughs> Same. I will become a master one day, surely. Um, but yeah, thanks again for the invite, Aaron. Always a pleasure to play games with you, Raven. Enjoy the rest right. of your Sunday. <laughs> you too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.